Hi guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They are in sixth grade and eighth grade right now. And this is our fifth year homeschooling already. And today I'm gonna to be going over the life of Fred. Here's all the books that we've gone through so far. He finished Easy Peasy 5-6 last year. And he finished it so early that we decided to jump in and give Life of Fred a try. So last school year when he was in fifth grade, he started off with liver. And then he completed mine shaft. And then this year he started on fractions. We start school at the beginning of August and it's now the end of September. And so he is more than halfway done with this fractions book. And then my older son, he had finished pre-algebra through master books, The Principles of Mathematics. He finished it like a month early um, before the school year ended, so I thought I would try this with him. It's their pre-algebra with economics. And he's gotten through maybe halfway in the book, and we're not using this anymore. And I'll tell you guys in a minute why it did not work for him. And so this summer, I purchased these two books. I purchased Apples and Butterflies. And we kind of went through it for like a family read aloud. So the Life of Fred program, they kind of recommend that you start with apples and then you go through all of the books. Um, we just don't have money to purchase all the books and our library does not have them. So we just did these two books for the read aloud. And so far it's been okay with the higher level books with my sixth grader. So my son in the end of fifth grade, he started on liver. And he went through it really easily. He had no trouble just jumping in there and starting it. And same with Mineshaft, he had no problems with that at all. And let me show you guys a look at the liver book. It's just an introduction. And then you've got all of the chapters. So I would say this took him about a month, and the Mineshaft took maybe a month, maybe three weeks to go through these books. And each chapter is a different lesson. You read to the child. There's funny little jokes and pictures. And then there's a your turn to play. So there's different problems for your child to answer from the lesson that you just read. And then on the next page, there's the answers. And here would be chapter two. And my son really loves this program. And then your turn to play. And there's the answers. And there's little comments here at the bottom about if you want to take things a little bit farther for the answers. And basically all of these books here, Apples, Butterflies, Liver, and Mineshaft, they're all set up that way. And then when you get into Fractions, it's set up a little bit different. And all the other books above Fractions are set up this way. It's basically set up the same way. There's the uh, contents. Here's the chapter you would read. Each chapter is one lesson, so we do one lesson a day. And I would say these take about 20 minutes to go through with the questions at the end and everything. And then your turn to play with the answers over here. And then let me show you what's different here. You jump, just jump into chapter two. So here's chapter five. You do your lesson like you normally do. I read to him. Some children can read themselves, but he prefers me to read it to him. And see, it's not a whole lot to read. It probably took me five minutes to read through this chapter. And then he's got to answer these questions. And there's the answers for them. And then you get to something called the bridge. This is after every few chapters or every few lessons. The child has to answer a bunch of questions. It's kind of like a quiz. And if they get 9 out of 10 right without any help, they can move on to the next chapter. And if they don't, they have to move on to another bridge. Which means the next day they would have to get 9 out of 10 right. 
And there's several bridges if your child just keep can't pass them. Like they can keep on going. And then it moves into the next chapter. So you can actually skip all of these bridges if your child passes the bridge on the first try. And we're like more than halfway done with this book. And so far my son has passed every single bridge on the first try. So that's really good news. Now, um, he's in sixth grade this year, and he, so he's going through fractions, which in the Easy Peasy course, he's already learned a bunch about fractions and decimals, so I'm guessing the next book he's going to be able to fly through also. Um, now, as far as supplementing, um, I do add in some Easy Peasy math every day. He does Easy Peasy math for like five to ten minutes, and it's mainly just like a little bit of review, just to, you know, give him a warm-up before he does this lesson. And because these lessons are so short, like 20 minutes, he doesn't really mind doing the extra math from Easy Peasy. So for my younger son, who's in sixth grade right now, we do plan on continuing Fred. He said math is now his favorite subject he's ever done. And he wants to continue with this. And he understands the concepts and it's working really, really good for his learning style. Now talking about my older son, he gave this a try in the spring. And for him, it didn't really match his learning style. And he told me after going through about half the book that he felt like he didn't really learn as much and he wants to go to a traditional math program. So as far as the need to supplement, I don't think you need to supplement at all. I think everything you need is in the lessons. It's a kind of like a spiral approach. And you learn little bits of pieces in each lesson. And then you do practice over and over from previous concepts to the point where I don't think you need to add anything onto it. Let me show you guys a little trick that we use to get through lessons quicker. So at the end of each lesson, you're going to have a bunch of questions to ask your child. This current lesson has six questions. This is where the candy comes in play. Um, I never ever buy my kids candy, or very rarely, but I'm using candy for this lesson. I put a different candy by each question, and then when he answers the question and completes the problem, he can eat the candy. So after the first one, he would eat it. So that's basically my quick little review on Life of Fred. I'm going to continue to use it indefinitely for my younger son who's in sixth grade. Um, he loves it. This is the first math program that he actually said he loves. And so my older son, he's using the Masterbooks Algebra this year for his math. I hope this is helpful. Bye!